I begin the book with this excerpt from the book. The thing I remember from that night as much as I as much as I remember Frank's blood soaked to bed, as much as I remember what was left of his gelatinous head after the crowbar had done its work, as much as I remember how his body had been bound and gagged with his own neckties. As much as I remember the instant nausea that those sights can induce in a teenage boy who discovers them was the way my foot shook on the gas pedal after I cranked up my old Comet and headed straight to Carl's. It was as if the shock and fright of finding Frank had puddled in a frenzy down around to my right ankle. And at the car, Red leather interior, no power steering, a radio that longed for FM. Did not jerk and sputter as I turned onto the interstate. It seemed instead to head more smoothly onward with each spastic brush of my scuffed bass weegin against the gas pedal. That's the core of the memory that night. Of all my memories, really. The eerie smoothness of the ride.